Alright, hey guys. Um, this is another video for Cubing World. Um, so I'll just give you another basic tip. Um, that will probably help some of you. Um, so basically, yeah, so there are five steps in square one. Um, you should know them by now. And today we'll be discussing a uh, corner permutation. So here's a, this will be a nice neat trick for uh, corner permutation. So, so you know when you have these two corners swapped, these two corners swapped, you could do this algorithm. Simple. Now obviously when you do this step, you want to be looking ahead at edge permutation. Um, note that when you, let's see, actually instead I'll, so to keep in mind it does a J perm, like right here, this is a J perm, and then J perm on the bottom. Same goes for like any other edge permutation alg. Like right there, J perm. And it even works for the diagonal swaps like this. So like it does an N perm. It does the N perm. I think this is the NA perm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Yes, yeah, so it does that. Now like I said, we want to be looking ahead into EP. So um let's say we had like a case like this. Like this. And got these two corners to be swapped and these two corners to be swapped. Well, what you could do is you could do the normal that, but you still have these edges you still have to fix. Which can take a few seconds off your time, even though that looked fast. Um what you could have done instead is I guess you could call like uh, corner permutation misalignments. So what you could do, you can misalign this like this, so that um, these two um, um, blocks will be swapped. So like if you misalign this by one, you do the algorithm as normal, like that. You have the solved layer and the soft cube. Now, um, if, doesn't, if this isn't that clear to you, let me explain a little further. Um, let's say you had, yeah, this, this, and then, um, give me a second, let me get my other square one. Yeah, so, yeah, I got my other two square ones. And so for this, um, but if you do um, a misalignment like this, instead it reverses the J perm from instead of this, you get this right here. So you can use this technique in uh, when you're using doing um, CP or corner, corner permutation. Um, to look ahead into your um, or edge permutation and basically you can affect the edge permutation so that um, you don't get a nasty case like that so um, if I could get let me just give me a second I'm gonna use a scramble that's currently on my Prisma So you have a barrel cut, I'll just solve this cube shape. Alright, we're at corner permutation now. Um I know there's not much I could really say. Um I see this these two corners solved and I got a diagonal swap. And since I see these two blocks right here. Like this, I so that means um, I can misalign along these two blocks to solve them. But since it's already like that, I'll just and we end up with these two. 
thought. Now notice if we yeah if we hadn't done that and we had like this, it's kind of awkward. I'm gonna end up with a W perm or an M perm. So misaligning this can actually be really helpful. And then what do we have? We have an O adjacent. Um, let me pull up, actually I'm going to use the, what is it called, the Mark II Scrambler, because I love that Scrambler for square one, for some reason I don't know why, um, just bear with me, sorry, sorry I didn't prepare this earlier, okay. Okay, so um, there's not much I can say for this one because if you, you can misalign like this or this, it doesn't really matter. And if you got this block back here, it's not much you can do. So that's a little, just a little hint for you guys. If you're trying to look for those blocks and you end up seeing that they don't work, yeah, they don't work. Actually, and why is it taking a long time to generate my scrambles? Um, I'll just, oops, um, let's do another scramble, okay, and for all you beginners out there, I know this is really beautiful, this. Alright, alright, here. I see it. I got this whole top layer solved. Stinky line. Dingy. And I got these two corners back here. I see this block right here. Um, if we try and do this right here off the spot, if we try and swap these, um, we'll end up with a stinky. We'll end up with an opposite and W perm, which I actually know the case for, but actually we're gonna end up with the opposite opposite H perm. And that's the par good parity algorithm. Um but we should misalign this. And we end up with also a little stinky but um basically these come down to trial and error, sort of. These come back to sh like the more you practice, the better you should um, recognize these. And um, if you have, of course, if you have these two, and then this is solved, of course, misalign if necessary. Um, those the um, performing of the algorithms with the misalignments may be a little awkward at first, but you'll get used to them. So, yeah, there we go. That's it. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.